regulation of internal manufacturing capabilities. Next slide, please. Since we have indicated the farming sector as a whole has exhibited a higher rate of revenue growth compared to the overall semiconductor market, we will now discuss the major challenges for future IC liquid growth from a foundry perspective. We will indicate what we believe are the strategies necessary to ensure continued growth in the future. Foundry's initial growth occurred because of their successful penetration of the CMOS logic market. Projecting to the future, however, it is clear that the founder share of this market will eventually approach high level saturation. It is now at about 75%. Next slide, please. Despite the founder's success in the CMOS larger market, they have not yet penetrated the other large IC market segments to the same extent. The founder presence in the image sensor, analog, microprocessor, and memory markets is considerably lower than that of CMOS logic. Strategically, boundary service expansion is possible in all of these segments. The ability of foundries to further penetrate these markets, however, will depend on the availability of process technologies tuned to meet the cost, power consumption, and performance requirements of these markets, as well as the availability of applications where the foundry model offers a competitive advantage. These applications often require a broad portfolio of process technologies and derivative technologies, such as RF, mixed signal, high voltage, non-volatile memory, and better than DRAM, etc. We believe that one of the key strategies for future foundry business growth is to expand both into new markets for CMOS logic that are enabled by the cost reduction and performance enhancement associated with scaling, and into markets that rely on non-CMOS based technologies and that have not previously engaged with foundries for production. As an example of CMOS logic market expansion, Consumer electronics will be one of the significant growth drivers. Overall, the consumer electronics market sector has its own set of challenges that foundries must meet to be successful. Product cycles for consumer items are typically rapid, and so time to market considerations are important. Moreover, customers will expect an increasing focus on rapid prototyping, production cycle time reduction, and capability for rapid wafer volume ramp up. Advanced technology capability is also important to meet cost, power consumption, and performance objectives. These attributes are areas of relative strength for foundries. Therefore, strong foundry customer relationships are potentially advantageous to customers' success in these product markets. Foundries must expand the technology segments that currently experience low penetration. Foundries must broaden the range of process technologies beyond CMOS logic. This chart shows technology options now offered by TSMC as an example of the increasing breadth of services that are now available to address market segments outside of CMOS logic and highlights the importance of derivative technology offerings beyond CMOS logic to address the growing image sensor, power management, analog IC, and memory markets to propel future foundry growth. Next slide, please. Circuit design complexity is increasing significantly with technology scaling. The ability to place ever larger numbers of transistors on an individual die enables increased product functionality via more sophisticated SOC designs. As a result of increasing design complexity, the rate 
of introduction of new designs and founders is decreasing for the most advanced technology nodes. Primarily because of increasingly higher costs for IC design. Estimates of increasing design costs for several process technology generations indicates that costs are approximately doubling for each technology generation. Additionally, prototyping costs are also now considerably increased, being driven by increasing photography mass costs. Consequently, only those companies with sufficient financial resources, product volume, and design capability can undertake the required design effort during the early phase of technology introduction. It's about $15 million now for 65 nanometer design. Uh, next slide, please. It is therefore vitally important that the foundry reduce design complexity for its customers by providing robust IP, design libraries, and EDA tools. It is also important that third-party IPs provided to the foundry is properly validated for the foundry's process technology to ensure the integrity of the final design. Moreover, frequently used critical IPs such as IOS, must be available at an early stage in the design development circle. With transistor scaling into the nanometer re regime, variability between devices on the silicon die is having an increasingly marked impact on the functionality and yield of designs and can significantly impact the capability to achieve fast production ramp up. Designers need foundry information relating design sensitivity to manufacturing variations at an early stage of the design effort in order to optimize the designs for maximum yield. This design for manufacturability, DFM data, is extracted and collected from the actual history of silicon fabrication at the foundry and is provided in addition to the design rules and spice models that designers have traditionally obtained from the founder. To achieve an accurate BFM solution for a, particularly, for a particular circuit design, however, requires the development of a comprehensive ecosystem for designers to accurately use BFM data. This ecosystem comprises EDA tools, IP libraries, and design service vendors whose products and processes are certified to be compatible with the foundry DFM data. By utilizing the capabilities of this ecosystem, designers, designers can be assured that DFM data supplied by the foundry is applied accurately to each circuit design no matter whether the circuit design IP is generated in-house or supplied by a third-party vendor. With increasing design complexity, design outsourcing is now an essential option for many product designs, either to obtain expertise or to minimize design costs. But to facilitate this process, it is important that the founder establish a comprehensive portfolio